Hi, I'm Jeff, one of the owners at Planning Pod, and now we're going to take a look at how you can manage your legal contracts as well as collect electronic signatures through our application. To create and manage legal contracts and e-signatures, we're going to first click on the Contracts tab right here, which will take us to that area. To create a contract, simply go up here to the Create Contract button. However, before we do that, we're going to click on the drop-down menu here, and we're going to add a contract group. You can see we've already added a few for you, but you can also create additional ones or change or delete the existing ones. And contract groups basically give you a way to organize your legal contracts. And now you can see that group is right here. So now let's create a contract by clicking on the Create Contract button. The first field lets us create a reference or a document name. And the drop down menu below lets us place this in one of the groups. We'll put it in the group we just created. By clicking in the next field, you can choose your intended signers. And these are people who will be electronically signing the document. And there are people who have been already added as contacts to your system. Finally, in this text box here is where you can cut and paste your legal language into. So we're going to pull up a Word document that has uh, one of my contracts in it. I'm going to um, copy this and then I'm going to paste it into the field here. And once you've pasted it in, you can make edits to this contractual language. And you can also format it with the formatting tools at the top of the text box. Once you're finished, just click on the Save button. And once we have saved this contract, you're going to go up here and click on it. And this reveals the contract details area, which shows us the intended signers, as well as a comprehensive document history. And this document history will be ongoing as other actions are taken in this contract. Here, you can always edit the contract, collect signatures, download a PDF, or delete the contract. Now, let's collect signatures from the intended signers. So we'll click on the button right here. And this just tells us that an email requesting elect electronic signatures will be sent to the signers. So we'll send those emails right now. And those have now been sent out. And as you can see in the document history, it tells us that this document, this contract was sent out for signature collection. Now I'm going to go to the email inbox for one of the people whom we had requested signatures for. And here's the email that they would receive. It asks them to review and electronically sign the contract and provides a link to go to that area to sign the contract. The first screen that the signer will encounter asks them a few questions. First of all, it asks to confirm they are the person who is named here to sign the contract. And also it asks them to acknowledge that by signing and submitting this electronically, it's the legal equivalent of their handwritten signature. So after that, they will type in their legal name and then fill out a security question and answer. Once they hit continue, they will be taken to the contract. And here that is, and they can review it right here on this page. And once they are done reviewing it, they can go down to the bottom of the page and use their mouse or keypad to draw their signature in this box, which we will do right now. And once they are done drawing their signature, they will click on the button to agree to the terms of this contract. Once their signature information has been saved, they will be able to print out a PDF copy of the contract as it stands now. Now, let me take you to the account owner's email box, and I will show you the alert that the account owner will receive when someone has signed a contract. So we're going to go up here to the contract signature collected email, 
And this is the email that the account owner uh, would receive, basically saying that Jay Diller has signed that particular contract. And when we go back to Planning Pod, we will see that that is also included in the document history. And it also shows here that we have collected one of two signatures for this contract. At this point, if you would want to edit the contract, you would actually have to get permission from the person who has already signed it to make changes to it. So this area allows you to send out an email to that signer asking them permission to make changes to the contract. So we're going to just send that right now. Now let's take a look at what it looks like when everyone has signed a contract. As you can see, it's in the document history. It says two of two signatures are collected. And again, you can view this, download a PDF document, which we will do now. And the PDF document will have the reference name of the contract, when the PDF was generated, the language of the contract, and the signatory information below, which includes the signed signature, the date in which it was signed, the person's IP address, and a unique signature fingerprint for each signee. At this point, if you need to make additional changes to the contract, you can make an amendment to it by clicking on this button here. So we're going to click on the amend button and when you do that, it enables you to create a, a reference or name of the amendment. And then here is where you put your legal language for the amendment to the contract. And once you're done, click Save. And here is the amendment right here with all the tools. For example, you can edit it, make a PDF, collect signatures, or delete it. Let's collect signatures for this, so we're going to click on that button there. And again, this will send out emails to the people who have signed it requesting their signature to the amendment. And that information has, all, information has also been recorded in the document history here. Now let's take a look at how to use templates in this area. We'll click on the drop-down menu, and you can import a contract as a template as well as save an existing contract as a template. So we're going to save the contract we just created as a template. We're going to select it there and then click on the save button. And now a template has been saved of that particular contract. And if we go to the templates area by clicking here and go to contract templates, we will see here is that template right there. And we can always make edits to it. So we're going to change the name of this contract. And you can always make edits to the contract inside of the text box right here. And we'll just make a quick edit. But again, you can make extensive edits and change the layout and whatnot in this text box area. Okay, now that we've made edits to this template, let's go ahead and import that into a contract. So we're going to go back to the contracts area. We're going to go up to the drop down menu and we're going to select import contract templates. We're going to find that by clicking in the box there and clicking on save. And we can click on that template which we imported there and then make edits to it. For example, we can change the contract reference or name We can also assign that contract to a group. And basically this is a new contract, but with templated information that we've pulled in. And we can also invite signers in and then make additional edits to the contractual or legal language. And once we hit save, you can now see here is that new contract we created from a template. Well, thanks for watching this video, and please let us know if you have any questions.